Hey guys, Proper English here. A little while ago, I was playing around with serial data transfer. What that means is sending lots of data across one line to a receiver, and this is what I ended up coming up with. This is a one tick per bit serial transfer system. It's pretty fast. When I press this button, we can watch as the data moves over here, and you can see that now we've taken this data over here, and we've sent it over here and we did that really fast across this one line. This is gonna be super useful for my GPU project, so let's take a look at how this thing works. We'll start off by taking a look at the serial encoder. This is what puts the data onto the single line. And so the way we do this at one tick per bit is by using a single repeater in between each of these bits. And so when I press this button, what's going to happen is we're going to send a one tick off pulse that will allow any of these torches that aren't getting powered up here by this torch to turn on. And so right now, that's only this bit over here. And so when I press this button, we'll see this torch flash. And there is our one tick pulse. And actually, if we take a look over here, we can see that it ended up in the corresponding position in our serial decoder. And so this part is pretty straightforward. The one thing to take a look at that gets a little bit trickier is over here when you're extending the signal here, all you have to do is leave the repeater out on this side and that way you're compensating for the added delay over here. So that's our serial encoder. The decoder gets a little bit trickier because we're going to have to play with some timings. In our serial decoder, we're using repeater lock memory to receive the data. And what this allows us to do is receive data at one tick per bit because each repeater has a delay of one tick. And so what happens is when I press this button over here, we're turning these repeater locks off for the precise amount of time that it takes our encoder to send all the data and we end up with our data and you can see we've got our one bit that was on all the way down here. And so the way I do that is with a monostable circuit. So you can see I've got this RS NOR latch right over here. And when this changes state upon an input, we send a pulse through this monostable down this delay line. And that resets the RS NOR latch and locks up the repeaters exactly when all of the data has been transferred over. And so it's not too bad. To extend this thing, all we need to do is add a repeater on each side. Pretty straightforward. And so this is a way of transferring lots of data across one line at a very high speed. This is going to be awesome for the GPU because I'm going to incorporate this into my serial RAM and it's going to be super fast. We're going to get blazing fast image transfer and it's going to be awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this, hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.